Good evening everyone and welcome back to another live stream. If you're watching this as a video after the live stream or you're watching this as a live stream, welcome. Today is my birthday, we're going to celebrate it with doing more MSQ in Endwalker. And I'm excited to get started since uh, it's it's been a it's been a bit time since I've done the MSQ, so it's going to be great coming back to it and you know the old story, listening to some good conversations, stuff like that. Uh, we also gonna enable the background music so that we can hear the awesome music from the soul. So we got everything in order. We like we like to have stuff in order. Hey Blackout Gaming, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking in and uh, thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday. Listening position. Great, I think. Uh, I think we we clear to go. I just need to set up something in my. UI status infant enhancement yeah that should be good great Great. Okay, let's um, let's get going. So my MSQ wants me to go over here. How the mighty are fallen. I don't know if the music is maybe a bit too high. There we go. So we are going over there. Awesome. And a big shout out to Let's see if she's online. Is she actually online? Ah, huh, Elja. Elja for giving me this mount yesterday. Such a nice little gift. Enemy list. There we go. We can have the music a bit higher. So let's we'll speak with Burly Tabba. As you wish. Who goes there? How did you find us? What do you mean? I stand out like soul thump? Hmm. If the pure bloods over at Victor's spoils hadn't given away our location, you'd never have found us. Those stuck up assholes thought they could come waltzing in here, demanding sterilium, with nothing to offer in return. Ha! Huh. Looks like the boots are now a food now the capital's gone to shite. So they resorted to sending you to negotiate. I know your game, sell sword. If they think we're giving to intimidation, they got another thing coming. Wait. I'm not here to fight you guys. Oh well. If you really want. I 
Just keep in mind, you started this. I wonder what the sound effect is. Um, system sound. Yeah, we want that down. Great. There you are. Just after you left, oh wait, this is actually going into the screen. I'm just going to put it up for now here. There you go. Just after you left, Lekinia asked me to go and catch up with you in case you needed a hand. Someone must let slip that I've little experience in transporting barrels of cerulean. So this is a tapas den. Well, then after you. Who are you? What happened to the gods? Well, um, let's say um, we danced. Oceans and ripples here to save the people of Garlemate? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why in the hell would you pass up this chance to put those imperial bastards to the sword? Then because none of you are Garlians. You were brought here from other lands. Mm hmm. Giabinia, Yangsha, Bosha, Dalmaska, to name but a few, some dragged here against our will. Fed Pollock's about better life, all put to work extracting Cerulean. All given the esteemed little of an placing us firmly on the bottom rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means oops. We hear you experts in drawing up ceruleums from bottom of the lake. But how? <laughs> oh, sh. <clears throat> we need some light. But how can you do if it's frozen over? Ha! Wouldn't you like to know? Trade secret, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Cerulean is used for much these days. Why would the city in ruins? We take enough to power our heaters and save the surplus for later. And though it helps stave off the coal, it does sort all about our hunger, unless we can trade it away. Speaking of which, you should tell your contingent we got Cerulean by the barrelful, if interested. We'll exchange it for whatever provisions they are willing to spare. We can certainly ask, but if you go, if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go, go where? Even if you manage to go back, get back to our homeland, there'd be nothing left for us, thanks to the Empire. And the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would practically be useless outside of Garnamate. So we're staying for the time being. Long as there's no need for Cerium, we'll find a way to get by, even if Garlemid, as we knew, is gone for good. Gone for good. Hmm. Regardless, 
regardless of what the ills about comes against does for the people. Oops, I actually think we can move this one down now. Regardless of what the ills about cuts again does for the people of Garlemade. The Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause of celebration, while for others, their whole way of life will have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that is consigned to his story. But what of the ordinary people, their lives, their stories? Should they be forgotten, too? Hmm. I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see about getting some cerulean. What did I just get? I got a pair of pants. Awesome. So you're seeking Cerulean, you have you? What those pure bloods up at Victor's spoil send you? To turn their enemies for help, they must be more desperate than I'd thought. Then again, Lekina got their little sister to think about. A sister? Well, we only saw Lekina and three men. It's possible she died from whatever was ailing her. If she needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get around here. I may have refused Likini at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange, but I can spare them a bottle of worth of Cerulean. Consider it a reward. I, I, what, what is Cerulean? I mean, what, what the hell is that thing we talk about right now? It's like I, I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Consider it's revolve for introducing me to the rest of your country and be sure to send them our way, you hear? I can't for the life of me think why Lucinia would keep her sister a secret. Ramos, but we can ask about after we deliver this room. Come on, let's hurry back. Thank you, Jarek. It is time to ride my my chair. Mm -hmm. Can teleport up there. Need to do the running. Hello, Big Marvick. Welcome to the stream. How was your birthday today? Did you get some good gifts? I, uh, yeah, I get. I got like some nice pants, you know, like for relaxing. A nice perfume. Some money. And some items to like help me bake. Hold on, I just need to like clean, clean my nose. But it'd be better.
Isn't this annoying? It's too quiet. I would fall Athelnad would still be treating them by by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house while you search outside. Okay, let's uh, let's see where they are. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood at? But up at the bear. See, it's so annoying when you use like the in-game music in this game because it's there's so many breaks between where they had no music, so it's just like keep getting boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this. That play. Oh yeah. Let's get some beat in. Alvinort. It looks like you got damaged. Well, let's ask what happened. Whoops. Can't fool us. We know what you're about. Ultruids, that's what you are, waiting in the wings for us to show weakness, then in your swoop. Here to help? What rot? All apply to make us lower our guard. Let you in, put ourselves at your mercy, put us in chains, steal our lands, get your revenge. You're wrong. That's not us. That's not what any of us want. Save the arguments for later, we got a bigger problems. I found empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. It's true, the Kinia was hiding his sick sister inside the house. But now, there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where they, did they go? A ray from Ryu and yours. And if you think I'll tell you, you're fool, I'd never give up my people. We're trying to help them, you idiot. That <laughs> sister, sister's ill, the empty bottle prove it, so the medicine ran out, or she put her in her pocket to make it easier to carry, or to avoid the sign of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere, how could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. You invade our homeland. Tainted with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. Guardians should sooner die than suffer the insults. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be, than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived. This is getting us nowhere. Wait, are they actually talking with voice on? No, it's one of those where you have to read it. I cannot say how Lakinia and her sister will react when we find find them, but find them we must. Go on, without me, both of you, I first need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I will join you in the search after. Alright, be careful. We will do our best to find them quickly. 
There's only one path out of here, so that's why I will start. Interesting. Two sets of fresh fruit footprints, young woman, judging by the size, she is definitely them, come on. Blackout is saying, so fucking stressed today. Kid has accidentally stabbed his brother in the throat through his mouth with a toy sword. What the hell? Did they like fight for fun or something? Or was there like a one cookie bag and they had to like fight over the cookie? That sounds uh, pretty um wild. The trail stops at the frozen legs. Perhaps they chosen to this route so as not to leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts, and I can only imagine how hard it must be for her ailing sister to cross the ice. We could really, really do with Albina's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up. I gotta say, nope, one kid had sword in mouth like a retard, and the other threw Pikachu at, and it hit the sword. Ah, uh, okay. So it... So it was kinda his own fault, and one was like, hey, hey, catch, I'm throwing a Pikachu at you. Oh, so it's all cut and bleeding, oh my god. Then he must really have had that sword like long way down, like to the ultimate like point. The blood staining on the snow appears to be fresh, judging by the amount of victim may have been severely wounded. The trail of blood leads to southwest. Go away. Oh yeah, they're both. <laughs> I can't even get my hair. <laughs> uh, I can imagine it. She's like, they're like crying, like, Dad, help us. And you're like, fuck yeah, mama. <laughs> I, 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 could just, I could just imagine it. The two bodies are already cold. Oh my God, they died. If you just haven't like ran, if you just been staying at the hotel, none of you would have been died. This is your own fault, Likinia. Oh my god, you should have heard the noise. So imagine a banshee scream. <laughs> uh
Did you ha just hope there's no big blood trail? Oh, we found one. They were attacked. No. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. Interesting. Oh, Blanket is saying, uh, I just hope there's no big damage so that we have to go to the hospital or something. Oh, yeah, definitely. You would have to look for that. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Hmm. Hey Heinrich, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's uh it's my birthday today. So you know I'm celebrating with some MSQ in Final Fantasy. Uh, there must be something we could done, but what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we haven't? God, stop crying about it. We couldn't help them. They didn't want to get help. That's how it is. This is the way. We have already caused enough harp here. Let us return to the camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send them someone to take care of them, someone who isn't us. All we can do for now is to make our report to Lucia and do everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. So let us linger here. Yeah, let's get away. Let's get back, back to the camp. Oh. 
How do you change the color on your mount? Oh, hold on, I need to. There we go. I decided an author tell me they have finished their primarily research for survivors, but refrain from saying much more than that. Clearly they are re reluctant to provide details, may I ask you for your account? Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I am sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless... something or someone inflame their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events at the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth, or a close enough approximation? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Uh, while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances one after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. 
And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Soskalvis is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession, and in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacias. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemald. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. I think we do. Who do we have here? Garleans? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I am Lucia Junius. A temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pier Norbanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. 
Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. What would you say? I'm going with you. What would your mother say if I let you two go by yourself? <laughs> I'm going with you. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Couple of children and what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we got Blackout in chat saying, did you eat all your cake or did you save me some? <laughs> I actually ate half, we ate half of the cake. Um, so still, you know, like a half cake bag. But I, I can't eat it now since I'm on, I'm on my fasting right now. So I, I'm not allowed to eat now. Hey, Saffron, welcome to the stream. Hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday, Dvalin. How are you doing? I'm um, and thank you, by the way. Um, thank you for wishing me good birthday. Uh, I'm doing great. Had a you know nice day with the family and stuff like that, and now I'm just relaxing in Final Fantasy and you know doing the the main quest, so I could get some to some end game and you know start doing raids. Hey, Hetzia. Hetzia. Welcome to the stream. Happy birthday, Twilight. Thank you so much, man. Thank you much. You were there. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. And welcome to the stream. Black Otter saying, Whoa, oh, I'll be right around. <laughs> yeah. You just have to take a plane first. Oh, hey, Stefan. Welcome to the stream. And my name, brother. How are you do doing, Viking? Well, I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for asking. Just uh, enjoying some uh, MSQ in Final Fantasy.
There we go. Ah, uh, Saffron, what cake did you get? I, I baked, well, I baked my own cake for the family, uh, for the guests, and I both baked a uh, carrot. Carrot cake, would you know, like a very thick layer of uh, cheese frosting on the top, so. It was nice, perfect. Like, mm. like I was saying, what if I told you I was outside your house and just about to knock on your door? Then I would say you were, you would be crazy. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it's, it was pretty good. And tomorrow it's gonna taste even better, so I can't wait to eat half of the cake alone. Uh, you will be received as invited guest, and so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourself accordingly. Your safe return take precedence above all else. Remember this. And credit in particular will be worried sick if you're gone too long. May the fairy watch over and keep you. Thank you. Uh, what's this fasting thing you're on? Um, it's, I'm trying to, you know, lose a bit of weight. Um, so it's like a, there's like an app called Fastic, uh, which helps you. So I'm running the program called 18.6. So that means for 18 hours, like, you know, 1.8. 18 hours, I'm not allowed to eat. And then for six hours, I'm allowed to eat. So you can see in this app here, that it's basically now saying you are allowed to eat in 14 hours and 56 minutes. So that's uh, tomorrow at... That's wrong. I didn't, st I, I stopped, I stopped eating at six, not eight. There we go. Now I've been, now I can already eat in 12 hours and 56 minutes. So I can eat exactly tomorrow at 12 p.m. Then I've been fasting for 18 hours and a lot of things have been happening in my body. Uh, Stefan, I'm good. I like the history of your country with the Vikings. Ah. Did you watch uh, the new uh, Vikings Valhalla? Yeah, you know, like, they, like Denmark, Sweden... Uh, Norway, we have a pretty cool background story. Well, uh, cool and cool, you know. Let's just say our country have probably like done a lot of things they shouldn't have done, but that's how it is. Are you and the children ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll explain the road once we're outside of your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it. At an act of hostility, you will not hesitate to take approach, Monsieur. I would expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. Uh, Saffron, nice. I hope all goes well for you. Well, thank you. I, I just need to, like, you know, lose a bit, like, three or five kilos, and then I should be fine. All right, this is fine enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill and follow the road until we reach Liminal Station 5. Trust children in the lead. I want you where I can see you. But we do have names, you know. I'm Alicia, and that's Alphanade. And last but not least, that's, that's Dvalin. Dvalin. Where have I heard that before? No matter, Alfin and Alicia will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you're to run, not saunter run. Towards the station, if you think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creature bar the way, go around them. Once you choose to depart, Julius will accompany you. Alvinet and Anzia will begin moving. Make your way to Limited Station 5 without falling behind. If you leave Julius behind for any reason or lose sight of Alvinet and Anzia, you may try again. Oh my god, that sounds difficult. Oosh. Stefan is saying, yeah, all of them. 
You learn in school about him, about Ragnar? No, not at all. No. No, 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 no. Uh, it's... We hear about more like, um... They don't really talk about, like, that way long back. They more talk about, like, Second World War and First World War. Well, a lot about Second World War. The Viking times is not something really they talk much about in school, so it's like... Yeah. Ah, uh, sad. Yeah, I mean, we probably like hear something like shortly, but not about Ragnar or any known persons. It's more like just a Viking. That's the station, I presume. That guy looks a bit dangerous. Jolton. What about the new expansion of WoW? You like it? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. The next expansion of World of Warcraft looks perfect. Looks really good. My only problem with it is, um, it's, it. See, like I, 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 I think World of Warcraft is a good game, but the problem is the expansion will first come in. I don't know. eight till 16 months and um, i i don't really want to waste my time in world of warcraft right now if i have to play the same patch 9.2 and 9.25 in in like 9 to 12 months that's like insane stupid at least final fantasy they release a new big patch every fourth month with new content but we have to wait like nine, I mean it's probably more like 12 to 16 months 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 before we get next expansion it's like are you kidding us like so we just we just gonna have nothing to do in the game now for like over a year like no fuck that oh, sorry I'm sorry I'm swearing um, but yeah did you see the Dragonfly? They copied the Guild Wars 2 system or animations, something like that? Yeah, I saw that. Um, I mean, to be fair, I have played all those Dragon games where Guild Wars copied them. So, you know, Guild Wars copied all the Dragon games and now WoW is just copying them also. So, uh, yeah, I don't see it as a bad thing. That's what Blizzard is best as doing, taking over things that are already there now and make it better. Good. It looks like your friend knew better than followers. Are these your headquarters? No, we're stopping here so I can check for Perseus. Since up here you kept your side of the bargain, we can carry on. Complete. Nice. From here we'll be heading northeast, keeping to the left of the railway. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, because I don't have to follow them anymore. I can just run my own now.
death to her enemies. Fuck. I mean, are, are they not at the same side as Jules? Oh, okay, so, so he's not from the Imperial. But who is he from then? I see why your comrade chose you. Julius, our cunt again has cure for afflicted or tempted, as we call them. Your people will need to te be taken into custody that we may administ administer the treatment, but it would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and and my legion are concerned, they are no longer our people, they are beyond saving. Those who fought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered. For their bleeding heart, come, we have to keep moving. Alright. Again. Hey Alcatan, welcome to the stream. Hey, happy birthday, Mr. Tvalin. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you coming by and wishing me a good birthday. Thanks for stopping by, man. Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue on board. Get away from me. Okay, it went back. Um, I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before only out of desire to remain undiscovered and that is, is still higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontation. Keep following the right way. Railway. Finally, we're getting the new base with a new uh, teleport point. What is that?
So what class is this? This is a Dark Knight. It's a, it's a tank class. So um, it's it's a class I can only use big two hand swords and um, plate armor, and it's a tank. But in PvP, it still works pretty well. Tanks are actually a thing in PvP, which I really like. So you can see I'm a Dark Knight level 85. I actually have all the tanks in pretty high level. Paladin 82, Warrior 80, Dark Knight 85, Gunbreaker 60. Look at what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they could be cured? Mm -hmm. Those exposed to vast quantity of primals ever may suffer several corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you have seen those monsters for yourself, perhaps you think twice before speaking of a cure. Oh yeah, I forgot you can change class. Yeah, exactly. Or change job, yeah. So it's like, I, if I want to be like, let's say I want to be a paladin now. Well, I... Oops. I simply... What the hell? I, I simply just like, you know, take my paladin weapon. Put on my paladin soul. Take on recommended gear. And boom. Here we go. That's my paladin armor. Now I can be a paladin. Oh, you're a girl? Yeah, I am. Oh, yes. I am a girl. Actually, a Highlander. It's like a, a human race. Can I like get in here? Oh, it's probably like underground. Okay, I see. Cool, cool, cool. So Blackout, are you also watching uh Mike playing? Is he, is he enjoying it? We're almost there. You have to keep your side of the agreement, so I'll keep mine this way. So what's the transmog like in this game? Uh, you mean like um, how the system works? Or you mean more like if you actually can get nice looking gear? This is Tertium, one of Galamed's largest stations. It now serves, serves as our headquarter. I've already sent the twins ahead. Oops. I've already sent the twins ahead. Would you soon so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely get nice gear. Like, for example, this armor here. Love it. It's the one called Crypt Lurker. And you can get it for, like, all the different classes. Like, for... Uh, played, medium, heavy, you know, like different. Even the spell casts looks amazing in this. Uh, they have a different version of it. And you can buy it quite easy. You need to get some, like, every time you do dungeons, you get, like, these um, tokens here. For example, if I do this leveling dungeon, I get, like, 100 of them. And then you will be able to buy these armors, which is really cool. It, it's not a hard grind. It's not a hard grind. It's quite fast, but you can grind them through different things. Even you can do a, you can even do PvP. 
you know, like do two or three battlegrounds and boom, you can buy a full equipment, which looks nice. That's a cool mount. For example, see here, I have like different plates. I have my chickens. If I want to run around as a chicken, I have this one here. Which is quite pretty nice. A warrior skin, another warrior skin, a paladin skin, paladin skin, a dark knight skin, a skin for all tanks, dark knight. Uh, not quite sure which, who can actually use this. It says I can do it. Dark knight. I love it. It's it's such a cool skin. Um, what about cash shop skins? Um, no. They 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 do have they do have cash shop skins, but they they don't look nice. It's not like Lost Ark where you can get some really really nice skins. It's more like wedding dresses and you know like. Like meh. It's plain to see why they chose this as their base of operation. They could have done a lot worse, even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed. And if Julius... Oh, hold on, I just... I need to clean my nose, it's like, uh, dripping. Uh, Saffron, what happened to your chair? You mean the flying chair I used? Uh, I still have that one. But I gotta say, be right back, no worries. I've not indeed, and if Julius was willing to make their pilgrimage journey to camp broken glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold, much like Victor Spoil. It must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices while you may be here as my guest. The others will not kindly lead to your presence. My commander isn't in locomotive over there. Ooh. <laughs> Imposing commander. Huh. Looks like he's freezing. These are their chosen representatives.
Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander. Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me, though you children may speak in earnest. Overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. Hey Gabriel. Oh my god, it's stopping. Wait, Dwalin, I mean. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by and uh, leaving a happy birthday. Hope you're doing well. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. After compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe me.
believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here. And all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want. What you hope for. So much blood has been shed. So much lost. All because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not? Disparity is the root of discord. And peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream. And the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Because even the most bitter adversary may one day see reason. On the coldest, blackest of nights, meager though, it may be we must share the warmest moment of our fire. Oh. 
Oh, that was a quote. You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. <laughs> yes, sir. He didn't look happy about that. Okay, before we continue, I need to uh, just go out and clean my nose. Awesome. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's do it. Uh, As per Lord Quince's instruction, I am to supervise you during your time here in Tertium. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any other means to remove your color, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So do you truly intend to speak with others, or was it merely a ruse? We in no hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that means what you mean, or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of the decision. Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. You, on the other hand, may go where, wherever you wish, even outside the camp, I know full. Well, I couldn't stop you if I tried. But do not forget if you do anything to endanger us or our interest, Alphinad and Alice will pay the price. Oh, 
I'm just going to question them all fast, every one of them. Huh. Question, question, question. Question, 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 question. Um, the last one. Oh, he's over there. Did you learn anything of note? Then your findings are consistent with my own. The plight is disparate in, indeed. The sick and injured are our greatest risk. Without warm and proper nutrition, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is in precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? assisting who's there my eyes they i can't see all that well ah thank you the numbness has subsided a little but i know i won't last much longer you should look at the others who can still fight I was your metaphor uh, not no better. I was afraid you would say that. I know we were warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permissions to have a contingent deliver supplies. I guess we could ask. Well, seen enough. You the people here have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you the have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions from nearby houses as most families kept keep kept rather some stored away in the oven they were snowed in still going out and getting it is dangerous work and we need a lot of mouths to feed fuel is greater concern though we had some serenium set aside until it was stolen we haven't identified a culprit could be other refugees or one of the afflicted for all we know Either way, we are down to the last dregs without the heating they need. Those poor in health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's a rhythm you need, our contagion has secured a ready supply. We can have some sent over. We will not accept your charity. If you can hold on a little longer, this situation is sure to change. A. Eh? Everything will change. One of your comrade mentioned something about something along those lines. Those mysteries countermate of yours. Heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's a little you could do to interfere. So there's no harm in telling you. 
one of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to afflicted or in the bastard's word loyal servant of Telephoro. Then he made his way inside the imperial palace or what stands in its place. We identified the seat of the enemy's power we realized Lord Princess dispatched a messenger to Sif legions saying as much as instructing them to join forces with the provincial legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telephoro. Once our allies arise, your contingent will be sent running for the hills, then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. And how do you t intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Galabade. They need help now. Say the word, and we will bring you Cyrillium. Staring contest. And he's like, fine. I will speak with Lord Quintus. Huh. So, did he agree to it? Nope. Nope, he will not place Garlamid in the depth of her enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Syrian outside. As you're under my watch, you will come with me. Very well. After all, many hands make it make light work. Sick. You're a lot more trouble than you're worth. <laughs> Once we are outside. Ah, oh, shit. My headset needed to recharge for a quick moment, so I will need to go without voice. Once we are outside, you will follow my instructions on a letter. We depart shortly. Cool. So, it is adventure time. With my my dear chair. My floating chair. Bum, 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 bum. So this is the a park. I'm surprised they, they found space for one amongst all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to show, socialize. This park was named after the founding father of the empire, the great Solus, Sos Galvus. Did we come to extract Cerulean from the wrecked Magtech armor? 
No, no, we already drain it dry. Same scope for the rest of the machina in the vicinity. But as our solarium has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try one more time in case something has been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we will commence the search. Ah, oh, there you go. Search. Searching. Searching. There are a small garden stand that destructive rooms and off merchant style. Perhaps it will build the children to pay. Ah, okay. Nothing there. What about over there? No. What about up here? Oh, okay. So over there. Over there, over there, over, over, over there. What is that? So the person interest are marked on the map for forum soldiers to pawn the children's play area to, to your knowledge, however. Not really require the use of cerulean. What is that? A for current. A tuning. A tuning air current allows you to better understand the area of movement of the winds. Ah, uh, that's the one you like require for flying. If I remember correctly. Children's slide. you any luck there's no sign of any cerulean hmm hard is surprising but disappointing nonetheless I couldn't have noticing you gazing at the pond is something the matter what well, yes, I mean no, I mean no, um, it's just I used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over, so like all the children, they had to wade in and splash about. They wouldn't stay there if it, if I didn't drag them out. We'd be sopping wet, then all was said and done, every time, and every time we go home, Mama would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking around like that. The pond was heated. With a solarium powered heater by chance. I suppose it must be. Come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers changing our tank beneath a hatch. But it was a long time ago, when the water still flowed clear and wasn't this brackish muck. I can't see a thing and I can't remember where the hatch might be. 
with the machinery laws likely broken, the amount of filled in the is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. It rager is still unbearable cold though. Eulus, what are your thoughts on magic? The average guardian would jump out of their skin if they saw it. But it is but it is the first has a few for in a signifier and mid key, so it doesn't scare me. And I take it one mind you if I employ a little now. Alpenite, as you have knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once it has done blast a very fire it should do the trick. Leave it to me. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. The tank is, isn't going to fetch itself. It's nothing so involved as extracting unprocessed syrup from a frozen lake. Like the tappers do it. We're talking about the shallow pond in the park. And we have a few way of warming ourselves up after. But that's insane. So fancy a dip. A little friendly competition might make things interesting. The last thing we need is you catching a cold. Step aside while I drink the pond dry. That way we'll find it in no time. <laughs> I like that one. That may be the stupidest thing I've ever heard in a while. And that's saying something considering who my brother is. <laughs> I can't find your interest, though. Let's do it my way first, and if that doesn't work, perhaps you can try your method with Elvenet's help. And then she jumped. Huh. Okay, give me two seconds. I just have to very quickly clean my nose. Okay, point of interest. You delve into the murky water, but come up empty handed to add injury to the insult. The icy wind of your damn clothing chills you to the bone. Empty-handed. What about here? And the last one. Beneath the water, your finger catches on what you think might be a handle.
You open the hatch and retrieve a cerium tank. I mean, you're not... She's not really holding anything, but you know, that... that that's fine. <laughs> oh, she's like, I'm super freezing. I love it. However, you grind this car come great personal cost as you become actually aware after freezing cold and rank it auto emanating from every realm of your body. Julius will doubly, doubtless feel compelled to pinch his nose. Nose shut when you deliver him your prize. Did you find anything? Sniff, snip. I hope you did. Wait, oh. Take it. Take it. That's it. And there's still some serum left. Ah, oh, the fire's still not ready. Hold on, I'll get F another hand. Call me an old down because of fire I am reborn and my clothes are mostly dry now. I appreciate your recovery of the cerium, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way you've been treated, Lord Quintus I, you st still invoice the serving of, of protection. If you were to die on my watch, he would be most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all, all's well that ends well. Julius, you mentioned coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Galamate? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contribution to the Empire awarded an estate, but if well, Better than many. What was Garland like in those days? Everything. It was everything you can imagine. So much more. Even during the cold winter, we always found warm and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat and sitting down for a hot meal with the family. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and songs of happiness. And although the summer came and went all too quickly, in the brief respite the ice would melt and the forgotten grass strengthened return. Grey clouds gave way to blue skies. Some mornings we'd climb up to the top the tallest building could find to watch the sunrise. Never again those rooftops are rubble, those friends dead, and those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had. Whoops. I got like um high durium godless offending. So I got now the high durium armor offending, and now I got a. Hydro and Gauls offending. 
Hydrum Arm Gods. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Now they just need... Ah, uh, I think that helmet is... Okay, the helmet is killing it. As you can see, this place is lit out with the remains of various types of war machina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the less damaged units, those that looks more so are beating a hard, a harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, that time being now. Rather than surprise them apart piece by piece, it would be quicker to remove the outer casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll get it. With, with luck, get access to the tanks without churning them. Though the force to okay. Use first and destroy magnetic armor to retrieve.
Hello to hell. And take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hmm. Finally escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitech collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. Mm. An interesting development, and perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news, but it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom. Hardly, but thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. As for savages, they seem positively docile. It's a poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Use what you procured to refuel the armor. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us.
My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. The armor, what armor? Are we going are we going to war now? I'm asking the same. I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now or after they join with the tenth is another question. of which Eula spoke? Finished your war, Council? Alphino and Alize are to stay here as our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? <laughs> for now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Guardians make, indulge them. Get them out of here. Okay. If and then Alice will be fine, providing they do not resist. You will accompany me back to your camp, where I will meet with your leaders and present Lord Quince's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent compiles has the supplies they surrender, will need to be transported here. That, will, that task will fall to Legionnaires Marcellinus and Octavia who will pilot Makitech Armour to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask you to further details and offer. Okay. <clears throat> Can I touch this one now? 
No. Have you done as instructed? <clears throat> the duties involve more than transportation of supplies, don't they? Duty is rarely a simple thing. We have been given additional orders, though. Whether we will be required to follow them depends on the time area of, on your contingent. You and I are in this together now. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. Okay. Fuel is linked as by the ruin. We should take him to leave. Wait here. This is my home. it was until that night I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell and thus spared my family who did not own a radio were less fortunate when dawn came I made my way here my parents my little brother and sister they were still inside but they weren't themselves and they to take them away from the capital that very morning to somewhere safe to hide until the fighting stopped I promised the Garlean flag bears a chain the bonds between our countrymen a red link at its center, the blood of the fallen, our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemont. But if 
she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? I'm sorry, I forget I spoke. We should go. Ah, emotional damage. Oh, it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. about what Quintus said about why no one would accept Garlean rule irreconcilable differences when coexistence isn't an option only conquest remains Varus at Gimlet said much the same only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians united as one people one race cleansed of imperfections. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. <clears throat> and yet, I can see how it happened. Varus and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience. Oops. Perhaps they've come <clears throat> to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. Uh, Alcatum. So Kiba is your title, and Rune is your guild, right? Yeah. Kiba is my title, which is basically from a TV series called Garrow. It's like a co corporation they're doing, doing right now. So if I have that title on and doing battlegrounds, then I can get a mount. So I'm. that's why I'm using that title at the moment. And then, yeah, Rune is my guild I joined recently. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, the 
that what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics, to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. Um, Saffron. In in other in other games, I have a guild called Blue Bambies. For example, in World of Warcraft, then we used to have in Lost Ark too. But for Final Fantasy, we we don't have enough people for that. It's like it's me and Mike who plays, so we would have a guild with two people. So we decided to join a very active guild called Rune, with very nice people. Like everyone in the guild is very nice. So um, it, it it was good to pick. I just have to go out and clean my nose. Hold on. Can you have more than one if that's if so that's cool no in, in the game in this game you can only have one but i know in guild wars and elder scrolls online you can have like five um but in this game you can only have one well it's it's fine it, it's a good it's a very good guild we joined All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish you'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand. To refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. 
Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Ooh. Thank you for subscribing, Army of the Shadows. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome, uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the stream. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even know. Don't ever change. <laughs> if you stumble. Army of the Shadows, subscribe to the channel. Or give you a thick ear. Uh -huh. Maybe both, for good measure. Thank you, Alizé. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus. And I wish to speak with him in person. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return. Oh, God, they're crazy. Uh, stop, both of you. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the Tenth Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the tents' conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? What... what are your orders?
Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Bereft of hope and now dignity. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too okay. late. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Ouch. He... He did suicide. He literally killed himself. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Much and more has occurred since the last we met. As for determining what come next, we must speak with Lord Quintus. Well, he's... Um, uh, he, he's he's actually dead. Before we proceed, tell me what you know of the First Legion and the disposition of their forces. They are preparing for a war while we, the refugees in their care were left to go hungry, a reckless, short-sighted plan that risked the welfare of the people they have sworn to protect. Nevertheless, we cannot compel them to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in, in force with intent to do so, we would only incite pa panic, but perhaps they can be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go Yulos back to the station and have him lead the refugees here. Some may be unwilling or unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can get. What is that quest giving? In pursuit of power. I, I wonder what that's going to unlock. 
A for Corrid. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm asking a friend. He might know it. I actually have to remember doing my front line today. So I can get the very big uh, bonus experience points and 100 tombstones. Oh, it's already ready. Okay, cool. Then we have to change interface. What map is it today? Okay, it's, this is a cool map. I like this map. That should be fine. Let's go. Oh, okay, it's one of those. Where you have to like capture them and... Combo. Awesome. And if I remember correctly, you don't have to defend them because once you've taken them, that's just how it is. Let's go. No, did someone sing? No, oh my... What just happened? I, I was like on 70% health and I just got like vanquished. He got that one. Awesome.
Awesome. Take out that one more too. Then we need the one in the middle. Oh, it's only a red bag now. Stun. Like the stuns in this game is so overpowered. Thing, once you have taken it, yeah, you cannot take it back. Ah, oh, great. Two more spawning. No one is taking this one. I'm gonna take this one then. the one in the middle no you're not gonna get me this time ah come on Looks like red, red is really good at taking middle, like they, they know how to go into the middle and do it together. Got it. Oh, that one in the middle is like a gold one. A 
Let's do it, Red Mage. You and me. Well. Oh my god, are we getting this one? Oh my god, yeah we are. This is ours. Get away from here. Oh my god, that one is gonna give us so many points. In the top of the map, top of the map. Hurry, 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 hurry. No, they just got it. Damn it. Oh, another gold is down there. We need that one ASAP. Like, right now. Stop them! I know I died, but it was worth it. I, I stopped them capturing, but come on! Stop them! No, no mind. I can't click on it. This is ours. take this one too thank you no 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 <laughs> you chased me for nothing and now you're dead. Wait. The one in the middle can really turn everything on. We 
need something. Come on, spawn something on the map. Ah, uh, don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top, 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 top. Come on, I need more top. Where you at, guys? Where you at? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's do it. Good job, good job everyone. Okay, don't do anything stupid, just wait. We just need that one, then we win. We literally just need that one, and then we win. No, 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 I forgot to self-heal. Just need that one, then we can win. Stop biting down there. It's like, if people just come up, a cop here and then we can win. Great. Good job everyone. The victory is, is ours. Wait, we lost points? How did we lose? How do we look? I'm just gonna give someone a raid them. It was a good match. It was actually a good match. Oh, I, it went. I got all the way to level eighty-six. And how many ma how many marks do I have now? Six thousand. Awesome. Oh, I have to switch back to my PVE interface. There we go. Jewelers. We arrived just before you did and too late. To 
today for what? What happened? <sighs> it's Lord Quintus. He took his own life. Outside the news about the 10th, he relieved us with our duties. Then he was alone. He... Hold on, you're right back. Oh no, it continued automatically. No. Without having to guide us, so we are we are high. I have just this moment spoken with Lucia. You ready to commence the transfer of the refugees here to Camp Broken Glass? Should you be willing to accept our aid? Some would rather die. But most of us just want to live. Songs and standards be damned, we just want to live. We need to speak with the refugees, then have to decide for themselves if they wish to come with us. If anyone prefers to say, oh, I have to stop this also. Well, well, for them, I'll be a hard journey for them of us, but we'll see they reach camp safely. I, I. He's devastated. Awesome. It was only ever a dream, wasn't it? To think we could reclaim and rebuild it all ourselves. All this all began, I sent my wife and daughter away to the province. If the Shanna might see them again, I'll take it. So take me, take me with you, please. That guy, he looks like someone who's like, no, nope, I'm gonna stay here. Well, got ever right sorted in the end. All it took was a few adjustments, and now it works as well as it ever did. From what I can tell, one of the lad terrier miss oops. Now that most of us is packing up and leaving this place, I reckon there will be more use for my skills over at your camp. Great, he's joining too. Ah, it's you. The one who treated me with such kindness. I have from knowledge you're not from around here. Here, I thought you weren't. No must make much difference now. Pure bloods, migrants, savages. After a while, the words start to lose meaning. Until all you're left with anger, fear, and hate. Um, I'm too tired. If you and yours have to come of aid, I'll be glad to accept. I have to admit, I was actually a bit skeptical about the story first, um, you know, the story here. But I like the ending. Like, th this is a cool ending. We have much to discuss. I rescued the attack on Camp Broken Glass. 
what if we'd hoped to talk about Quintus? But all of what can wait, more urgent matters demand our attention. Are any of the refugees willing to come to our camp? Banks the twelve. Banks the twelve. You and I should go first and hear the route back to the camera on glass. With all the cringe attempts at skulking about, I expect we'll have our hands full. They should come in handy. Conquest chain, quality of the Lovinance friend. Hey you know all Lord, welcome to the stream. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great Hope you have a great day, my dude. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I've had a, a you know a good day. Uh with family coming over, visiting, you know, stuff like that. So it's it's been a good day. So yeah, th thanks for asking, man. Thanks for stopping by. I, I hope you're doing good. Among a few points that need serving on your map, one should take in care of the riffraff with me back at the camp. Ah, great. Making the tune with the Avenid now. Heart to you. So, what does your quest offer me? Screw that. So weird. <laughs> the frontline battle was pretty intense, lol. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I love them. The frontline bands are so fun. Three teams fighting, love it. it it's like every time I go back to WoW, that's the most thing I always like. Uh, that's like the main thing I always miss about Final Fantasy. is clear. Second base.
Wait. Oh my god, I had to like shade him. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I just realized. Ah, God damn it. Same to be a like, gotta stick with the circ, though, or they'll pick you off real quick. Yeah, if you get a lot, if you get like a nasty stun. The thing is, I always forget I have a PP trinket, you know, the PP spell where you get out of stuns. Sometimes I just forget I have it and then I die in the stun. I just gotta get better to using it. But I, I love PvP in this game now. The PvP in this game is so good. I, I love that you just have 12 spells and that's everything. What about you, Nian? What are you maining in Final Fantasy? Didn't Nian... Do I remember for, wrong? Didn't you, like, use to play World of Warcraft 2? Which MMO are you playing right now? Are you on Team WoW or Team Final Fantasy? Right. I've been using white mage and red mage in front lines, but my main is pretty much samurai. Ah, cool. Okay. Final Fantasy since late December. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, rem I remember, uh, I remember you watched when I play World of Warcraft. But I assume you just were, you just joined for like the social aspect. Then I assume you're happy to see me play this game also. I assume you're curious about how matters of progress here in your absence quite well it, as it happens. We'll definitely go back and play WoW when new coach drops. You mean like 9.2.5? Oh yeah, okay, expansion. Yeah, me too. Like, I, I want to go back to when the next, next expansion comes because it looks really, really good. But we're probably going to have to wait a year. So I, I'm totally fine with playing this game for a year. Like, I could totally see myself having fun in Final Fantasy for a year. Furthermore, we prepared sufficient food for everyone. Those from Tertarium shall find a hot meal waiting upon your arrival. On, on your way, 
might I ask you to seek out Ushtola? She was but recently attending to a wounded, but she meant to be taking a rest of herself. Alrighty. To be I tune in because you have some really chill streams that I really enjoy. Oh, I'm glad for that. Thank you for that, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I'm just like sitting here, vibing, having fun, just playing games. But I'm soon gonna start on doing videos again. I'm gonna start doing like Final Fantasy videos. I want to do videos about um, how to use the new adventure plates and how the new PvP system works. Uh, for example, Dark Dark Knight PvP guide. I want to start like doing Final Fantasy videos also. But yeah, thank man. I really appreciate you stopping by. We're all fortunate that none of your land is yourselves in my care. I've already quite enough to deal with between the Tembot and Isn't Bounded. Alas, for I can mend their bodies, the toll that the experience have taken on, their hearts and minds is another matter. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot to do in on the game. A good FC will definitely be the best thing to have, so you can farm up glams and mounts. Yeah, I've joined a really good uh, FC, so I I enjoy playing with them. Yesterday. They stream sniped me and, uh, <laughs> you know, like, a lot of people came over to me and danced and then we went into some of the old raids, so... I, th I think I found a very good one. Is that all of them? It's like watching one of those Christmas movies where everyone is getting together in the, in the end. The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get... Warmth, at last. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our laments and smiths that put the bloody things together. <laughs> well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? 
You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate. I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat. <laughs> Take that back. Make me. I will not stoop to your level. Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it. And I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. <laughs> and Ian is saying, lol, that's awesome. Then, I've never tried to make a character on the Europe server. I don't know how bad ping is. I used to play with a... Um, um, with a guy. Um, and he he's from US and created a character in Europe. Um, uh, it didn't really work out in dungeons. Like if you just run around and fun, it worked fine. But in dungeons, like every time the bosses was like throwing things on the ground, even though on his PC he moved out of it, it still hit him because of the delay. So the the the, the, the delay is quite bad. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? Well, I feel like I'm watching a Christmas movie right now. Damn. I feel like I got goosebumps. I know this is not a dream, and yet... Yeah, Shay, I just got done playing about an hour ago, and now you got me wanting to log back in. Lol. I probably end up just standing around in Ishgard. <laughs> ah, okay. I think I've heard about that before. And that's why I never tried. Yeah. The ping is, it, the ping is tough in this game. Cross Realm. I'm about to, I mean, I'm not going to play much longer, like, it's almost two at night and my kids are probably going to wake me every like four or five hours. But it, it, it feels like I'm d done with this zone very soon. So I might go to the next zone and then log out. I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. Uh, Neon, I actually already have, um, I have already bought the full set and the weapon and I got the title on. So you can see the title I have on right now, Keeper. It's the title I get as a um, Dark Knight. 
I just need to play those 30 games. The Grand Company of Eorzea. The Ilsebad Contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. We often don't have the luxury of choice. As do I. I'm honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. Uh, have you checked out the PvP Crystal Vendor? The Dark Knight Sword on Death of 3k Crystal is sick. I actually remember I looked at it quick. And I think you're right. I think it, it looked amazing. But I think I have like 3k. I should go and check it out. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Oh no. He didn't have one of the charms. Emperor Varus? They are being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. Okay. Everything was so beautiful then. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. I shall begin the preparations. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Oh, 
Oh my god. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helm. Take a moment too to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Uh, Neil is saying, I'm probably going to get the Reaper one because I'm close to 3k. I have to check out the Reaper one. I actually played a bit Reaper in PvP yesterday and it's actually quite fun. It's not the main tab, but it's fun. Give me back my body. And permit you to go on a righteous rampage instead of partaking in this delicious meal? I think not. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. position is in order. The Galian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far. Hey, in hey Canberra. Rebellion. What goes on stream? Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. What the hell is that? And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the Saviour was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit. Their anima. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Ah. We do not agree, my lord.
Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asia, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. No way, did he, did he take the green dragon? Ah, that's my body. All together. No way. Ah, 
There it is. Your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. Okay, that was a game changer. So he, he basically given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a rodent. What's that medical kit? Ah, but I try to stealth. Past. Ah, we have a stealth bar. Okay, it's gonna kill me. What? Do I have to watch all this again? So it's like you you failed your big noob. Do you want to play it on easier? <laughs> okay, I see. I 
I guess they have to do that so people they can actually like me can actually progress. Oh yeah, okay, now he's like dying in two seconds. Not bad at all, given your diminished capacity. Hey, come on. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a rodent. Yeah, you have to do a lot of waiting till you're in the line of sight to sneak. Oh, and then on easy, I get nine medics. Hey, I put it on easy myself, law. <laughs> Oh, so you, you also failed that first time you tried it. Objective. Do I have to like search for like something so I can fly or whatever? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> The magic we were fighting days are over. So I, I have to keep searching until I find one that works. You're looking for a battery for the mech. Ah, uh, okay. According to the course, the servant remains the magic has repeated itself. However, it's damaged beyond repair.
Oh, that's that's a really annoying quest, I have to admit. Fight, survive. Magic Dream of Fine Days, I don't know how you find me to go kid. According to the God said it remains to uh, The Magic is really by itself, however it's damaged beyond repair. Truly one of the worst. Uh, I mean I, I see why they make quests like this, but it's it's it, it's like quest I don't really enjoy. Find a magic reboot identical key and fuel. Camera is saying, okay, so blade here, so going to bed. If you don't do the next dungeon tonight and want to do it tomorrow, let me know. I'll do. I'll definitely let you know, man. Thanks for stopping by and uh, I'll see you in uh, in the free company tomorrow. Sleep well. It's also way too late here. I even think about like stopping. And then I can do this one again tomorrow. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I mean, it's like 2 at night now, so it's it's like way too late. You too? Thank you. Thank you, man. It, it's, it's gonna be something I'm gonna do tomorrow. Yeah. We're doing it tomorrow. Alrighty. So, um... So the few of you watching right now, thank you so much for watching and being here and entertaining me. I'll um I'll go to bed now. It's getting very late now. If I'm lucky, I'm gonna be able to sleep five hours before the kids are gonna wake me up. Thank you, Nian. Thank you so much, man. I'll, uh, I had a great, uh, great birthday, and with a great gaming session here in the evening. So again, oh no, my sounds like my small stall is about to wake up now. No, 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 no. I'll definitely stop by and check on you. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on another stream again. I might not stream tomorrow because I want to make videos, so I might stream on Monday. Because tomorrow I think I have I have a good idea about some videos I want to do. But yeah. Sleep well. Whenever you go to sleep. I know it's a bit different time zone where you are. But um, see you man. See you around. If anyone else is in the chat or watching this as a video after the stream. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you. <laughs> Big hard knuckles. Big hard knuckles. And you're going to get one of those. GG. Peace out.